Lucario does have decent tilts, but he gets most of his combos by sending people into the air and sending gang, uh, getting fair strings, going into nares, going into up airs, and really benefiting from aura in that regard. As we see, <laughs> as we see Loki Eli take immediately to the skies. However, Samus has things like uh, missiles to make to cover airspace. Charge, of course, charge beam is always a problem, and you know things like fair and air can stuff Lucario's lacking frame data pretty consistently. So what Eli is gonna need to be doing is at, once he gets to this level of aura, he's gonna need to start relying on neutral air to really be a jack of all trades, and not only keep him safe from Samus's out of shield tools like neutral air or uh, screw attack, but also to start a variety of combos to get kills eh, about now. <laughs> <laughs> but if he can chain some together some of these forward airs, then he doesn't need to worry about damage all of that much. Forward air usually combos into itself even at mid to late percents and more if he can accrue damage like that, he doesn't need to worry about falling Nair setups with uh, with any of Lucario's smash attacks. He can actually just play a legitimate neutral oh and look for things like that. As that he gets the air dodge, but not able to snipe out the air, the, uh, the air dodge back to ledge. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Ziggins getting that down here. It, it looked kind of scary there for a second. Like that, that could have looked like it would have been your classic Lucario stock, where you're just kind of beating him up for most of the most of the stock and then all of a sudden aura activates you get hit a couple times and that's that's your stock but Ziggins able to avoid that but with that down air yeah now that now that Lucario is down he does get a little bit of aura he from being from being a stock down about 15 or 20 percent worth it's not exactly worth it though that back air at 50 will absolutely be enough the hard part about this matchup is Lucario doesn't have any reliable ways to kill. Things like Force Palm and any of these smash attack setups are a lot harder to land because Samus is so floaty and, uh, and is constantly being off the ground and evasive. So getting a Force Palm grab is really hard. I really do forward. like... <laughs> it's... It's part of part of the game plan. As long as you can go air to air, then you're going to be catching jumps all day. And Lucario does like to jump. His air speed is really good. Yeah, oh <laughs> Dude, it just when you say go air to air, I feel like Samus would in general have the advantage there. Just we're seeing Porter put a lot of work in in the matchup right now. Up air is also coming into play sometimes, but even like even if you're far away from Samus, there is a great tool to just cover the airspace. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Not even Max Aura, by the way. <laughs> He's looking for much different setups, though, uh, than what is normally considered really good for Lucario. Uh, he's looking for a lot more rising and landing fair, which is solid. You get usually another fair afterwards, but that's kind of about it, unless you're on a stage like Town and & City and have a place to reset. What? That didn't kill. Nah, he's heavy really? enough. He's not super heavy like he was in Smash 4, but he's wolf weight, and that's not not heavy. 3% away from Max Aura. 0.4% away from Max Aura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't usually get Max Aura on this stage, but oh, he's at 41, hello. <laughs> yeah, that... Okay, that was super important, because Lucario is given the correct chance that that high percent would have just deleted the stock so getting rid of that stock was crucial to keep Ziggins uh, in this game and just prevent him from exploding now although it's possible he could explode later but oh, oh. yeah he used his jump and then he so Samus 101 charge shot sends you back it has a lot of recoil on it in midair and screw attack gives you no uh, left right um, drift so using your double jump to shoot charge shot on stage is a big no-no because -no. <laughs> most of the time it kills you oh my god right. i felt like i was just spouting trivia about these characters for a whole game what the <laughs> i mean you play both of them so uh, yeah. you, you, you got a lot of 
uh, information to give during this match, so that you know that, that's fine. It's just tricky. I do like the stage pick for uh, for uh, Ziggins because I mean you saw how much Lucario's fastest aerial is that is down air, which is frame four, and fo and forward air, which is frame six. Samus can outrange and beat out both of those with her frame. Uh, I think her fair is also frame six, but bigger, and her nair is frame four. So generally, Samus should be winning a lot of these air to airs. But if Lucario can get in, this is one of those matchups where Lucario really needs to get in and stay in. Playing that floaty, like evasive game plan that works well against other zoners doesn't necessarily hold true. No, oh, the rare jab too, <laughs> coming out to play right now from Zingan. It's like the one percent hit combo at. Oh, he had the chance to let it rip, but Ziggins wanted, I guess, prioritized the full charge and didn't didn't let it fly. You know, th this is the type of uh, this is the type of stage where uh, extreme speed on stage, just to zip from one corner to the other, is surprisingly effective given how fast it can move. I mean, hence the name, as you are super dead. Dude, that whole time I was waiting for Ziggins to use the char shot to try to like take the sock, but you know they found it other ways. You know that's pretty good though because just having the char shot on on deck like that can put a lot of pressure on your opponent and like the fear in it might make them pick escape options and then you can just cover that instead. So having that tool available is, can be really useful even if you don't use it directly. Yeah, both of these characters are and and plenty more have the availability of a tech known as charge storage canceling available to them where if you press and release shield within three frames the charge will drop and the character will just be put in an idle stance uh, yeah no you're not going to get up to up air that percent so you can mix up a lot of good grounded options by pulling out and putting away your charge i mean that's exactly what eli did right there to put away the aura sphere and mix up a dash before throwing it and ending that stock Movement, uh, disguising your intentions and moving with, moving with mal, uh, mal intent, is going to be the name of the game for both of these characters. But as long as Eli keeps jumping, he's eventually going to get sniped by something pretty big from Ziggins. Yeah, Ziggins is doing really good. Oh my goodness, what was Tragic. that? He, What's that like he looked, stick? he looked to grab ledge and he wall clung to the ledge. It's a, it's a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that definitely did not look intentional from uh, Loki Eli. Uh, thank you, PS2, for having very wide whatever those are at the edge. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not another SD from Uppy coming out from Ziggins. Hate to see it. But I feel like this whole match, like, Ziggins has just been controlling the airspace. Like, like we've seen Forward Air put in a ton of work. But also, like, we've seen Ziggins do a great job just shooting projectiles exactly where uh, Eli's going to be landing. Something like that. There you go. And then still able to put on pressure afterwards. Yeah, yeah see? Well, right there. It's, like, it's kind of the name of the game against Lucario. You don't want to be doing damage just for damage's sake. And that's one of the one of the fewer characters that, that ends up being the mindset. Because he got him from 40 to 92. And... You guys winning right now. You speed into him. Oh, he didn't do it. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just expecting it because that's just... It's one of the brazen uh, burst options that Lucario can do. But in situations like this, you want to play floaty. You want to play evasive and uh, in that sort of Tai Chi type style that a lot of his moves are inspired by. So now would be the time to, especially at kill percent, to just not get hit. Because all it takes is one from Lucario. Ooh, okay, that back here. Almost taking it for Ziggins. See the ledge trap? Doesn't quite get it. He's still fine. I would really watch out for double team here. Because Lucario's double team, when it counters projectiles, homes in on the thrower, not the projectile location. For the most part. So an errant missile or charge shot can spell death for Ziggins if he throws it in the wrong spot. 
God, this is very stressful. <laughs> like, one really good hit from either player will just end the stock. Oh, he's dead. He jumped too. That's so unfortunate. All right, we're going to game three right now. You know what's even trippier? What? They're using both care. Both players are using the the skins I use for both characters. Oh, that <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> Gravity suit Samus is best. Samus, what can I say? Prime four win. <laughs> Yeah, when Nintendo. It's don't let it be vaporware. Let it be in my handware. I please, bro. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but one one, and I'm definitely thinking we're gonna be seeing a smaller stage. Of... Ziggins not only dominated the air, but the smaller side blast zones, uh, or how how close the side blast zones were to the ledge, really made whenever Zagans did retreat to the floor, that much scarier. Normally, Lucario going to Town and City is pretty good because the platform, the tri-platform, or both platform layers, it's actually thinking about it, are very good for his combo game and getting kills as oh my a goodness, complete what? swap in characters. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Ah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I couldn't contain my disappointment. <laughs> Wow, all right, all right. I, I did not expect any of this, but okay, so this matchup is it's very volatile just because Fox is extremely light, doesn't have the best range, so like in most scenarios, DK will be able to just kind of beat out your buttons, like in terms of range, you know, and stuff like that, but in terms of frame data, once Fox is in, you, you can't let the DK breathe. You just have to s just get DK to ledge and then take advantage of DK's terrible ledge option and just ledge trap him until the stock's been taken. Like the more neutral that is played on stage is the, the more will benefit DK, but the more advantage of the ledge will benefit Fox. But if DK can like get some juggles going, I'll benefit him. This is interesting because Ziggins had to declare character first after winning. So he's switching to Fox and playing into spaces isn't usually fun for um, Lucario players. So he goes his counter pick in DK and it's, it's been working out. FD is the curious part of this equation to me. But, I mean, as long as you make every... You're kind of making the matchup extra volatile by going to FD, and we'll have to see how good a neutral Eli can play in order to make that... make his counterpick in stage worthwhile. Oh my goodness. That uh, that smash was so, so risky. I don't think it would have killed, and if it whiffed... There could have been a pretty big punishment on it, but uh, Loki Eli not be able to get that. And Ziggins is, well, his his Fox's combo game has been a little bit unorthodox to say the least. He's been cutting off combos to go for uh, finishers like down smash, which you don't normally see. But part of the problem with Fox is that his killing flow charts can be wildly different depending on character. So landing and going for these haymakers, it can be worth it against a heavy body. You'd rather them live till... You'd rather try to kill them at 130 than play neutral until 170 and get it and get cheesed, for lack of a better phrase. Oh my goodness. See, being right up, right below DK like that is something... Or especially your Fox is like your like one of your main goals. Because that, that up air is going to help you rack up a ton of damage. And like... You'll probably beat out Nair, and if you're fast enough, you'll just outframe data like down air. So DK really doesn't have a good option to beat that. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, he didn't. Oh, he didn't go for the ultimate kill, and both are never mind. There we go. All right. Ziggins gonna be moving on into winners' quarterfinals after a very strange game three counterpick from both players. <laughs> Yeah, if he had a Fox in the back pocket, uh, Fox normally is a very good counterpick against Lucario. He can smother and kill uh, all of, just just make Lucario's life a living hell. So I'm surprised he didn't declare that counterpick after losing game one, but he pulls it out in the end, in the end, and it works out for him. Heading into winner's quarterfinals to play against Quack and his captain Falcon.